If you're an airplane enthusiast or someone who's been wishing to fly a plane for the longest time, then you just might have bumped into the correct video today. There are several airplanes in the world that you can fly without having a pilot's license. That's right, these planes are built with the most basic functions which anyone with basic training can fly. Number 8. Sorel Hyperlite In 1982, the Sorel brothers created the single-seat SNS-8 Hyperlite at the U.S. Rotax engine distributor's request to develop an enclosed cockpit aircraft design for the 28-horsepower Rotax 277 engine. The resulting aircraft, with an empty weight of 247 pounds, fit into the U.S. ultralight category as a scaled-down version of the very successful Sorel Hyperbipe aerobatic cabin biplane. Light control forces and well-balanced controls make the aircraft simple to operate. Full-span ailerons on the aircraft's bottom wing droop together when the stick is pulled back, simulating flaps in a landing flare. The airplane has a forward fuselage made of welded steel tubes and a rear fuselage made of detachable aluminum tubes. In 10 minutes, the rear fuselage may be removed for storage or transportation. Aluminum tubes are also used to build the wings, and aircraft fabric covers the entire thing. The maximum pilot weight for the SNS-8 is 230 pounds. The 28-horsepower Rotax engine is especially a nice one. It helps the Hyperlite achieve a cruise speed of 60 miles per hour and climb at 600 feet per minute with a range of 180 miles. Number 7. CGS Hawk 103 The CGS Hawk is one of the iconic models in the very light aircraft category, but what surprises me is how well it flies compared to other quote-unquote real airplane models. This is not a veiled compliment, it's a full-on attaboy. The legendary Chuck Slarchik founded Chuck's Glider Supplies, hence the CGS in CGS Hawk, and was one of the forerunners of the early powered hang gliders, think Easy Riser, designed the Hawk initially. The narrow, low windscreen makes the aircraft's forward view excellent. There are tricycle and tail dragger models available. Your choice of sailcloth or polyfiber can be used to cover any of these models. Speeds and handling characteristics are said to be similar for both covering materials. Sailcloth wings do not have an aluminum leading edge underneath the fabric, but wings with a polyfiber coating do. The plexiglass provides excellent views of the ground from the doors, and each occupant gets two air vents for cooling. All Hawks have an aluminum tail boom that is curved and tubular and is bent in a massive tube bender at the factory. The doublers are fastened to the boom before it is bent to ensure a proper fit. The CGS Hawk uses a 40 horsepower Rotax 447 engine, which helps it cruise at 60 miles per hour, climb at 800 feet per minute, and has a range of 170 miles. Number 6. Benson B-8 Gyrocopter Designed back in the 1950s by Igor Benson, it is extremely minimalist, with not much more to the aircraft than a pilot seat, a single tail fin, a rotor, and the power plant. Igor Benson designed the gyroglider as a means to introduce aviation enthusiasts to the thrills of flight with minimal cost. It features a 72-horsepower McCulloch engine, which was originally used in military target drones. The McCulloch engine propels the aircraft forward, and the relative air spins the rotor plate. This allows the gyrocopter to fly incredibly slowly and descend vertically. These characteristics make the gyroplane safe in the event of an engine failure. The Benson Company has closed but the plans to build a Benson gyrocopter are still available, and there are used ones on the market as well. The Benson gyrocopter is perhaps the most compact and unique aircraft you can fly without a license. It uses a 72-horsepower McCulloch Model 4318AX engine, which helps it achieve a cruise speed of 60 miles per hour, as far as 100 miles. 
Number 5. Eculot ALF KR-01A Introduced in 2006 by Eculot Aircraft of Poland, the JK-01A ALF was designed by Krawczyk, based on the earlier work of American designer Alex Strojnikin. It features cantilever wings, a single-seat enclosed cockpit under a bubble canopy, fixed landing gear, and a single engine in a pusher configuration. The primary fuselage component and the tail include vertical and horizontal stabilizers. High-grade polymers are used to create the framework, which is reinforced with carbon and glass fabric. Adapted and specially designed plexiglass makes up the canopy. Furthermore, it has a side opening, a lockable canopy made of plexiglass that is fastened by a cable when opened, and hand grips. A customized cabrio canopy for the summertime allows flights without the prominent canopy. A comfortable interior that has room for larger pilots, unique seat cushions allow for the adjustment of seat positions. One main wing is a section of the fuselage with two wings attached to it. The only place the flapperons are not seen is on the extremities of the elliptical wings. This classical design contains a front wheel and two main wheels. The composite material that makes up the springy main wheel leg is one piece. A hydraulic wheel brake is installed on the front wheel. A lever and rod mechanism on the pedal arrangement allows for a wheel deflection of up to 15 degrees in each direction from the long axis. The power plant comes from the French JPX D320, which pumps out 20 horsepower, giving the aircraft a cruise speed of 63 miles per hour climbing at 490 feet per minute with a range of 150 miles. Number 4. Earthstar Gull 2000 Earthstar Aircraft of Santa Margarita, California produces the Earthstar Thunder Gull series of cantilever high-wing tricycle gear ultralight aircraft as either a home construction kit or a finished product. To come close to the sense and freedom of a bird, designer Mark Beerley set out to create an airplane with the feel of a hang glider, the agility and visibility of a helicopter, the effortless smooth flight of a sailplane, and the utility and economy of a general aviation aircraft. Beerley responded when Don Downey asked if that was too much. Of course, but I nevertheless persisted in attempting. The kit comes complete with a jig-welded roll cage, seat belts, and a full cabin windscreen. Like many small ultralights, this one is trailerable for maximum versatility. It also helps that they can build and work on them in their garage workshops, then move them to the airport when finished. Aluminum tubing, sheet metal, and aircraft fabric are used to build the airplane. When fitted with a light engine, the aircraft can comply with the U.S. FAR 103 ultralight vehicle category standards, including its maximum empty weight restriction of 254 pounds. Standard engines include the 27-horsepower Zanzatera MZ-34 and later the 28-horsepower Hearth F-33. The best engine option is the 28-horsepower Rotax 277. It's reliable and helps the plane reach speeds of up to 55 miles per hour with a range of 165 miles. The rate of climb is 700 feet per minute. Number 3. The Carlson Sparrow Introduced in 1987, the Carlson Sparrow is a family of high-wing, strut-braced, single-engine ultralight aircraft built in the United States by Carlson Aircraft in East Palestine, Ohio, and later Skyline Technologies in Salem, Ohio. Ernst W. Carlson developed it. The aircraft features a fuselage made of 4130 steel tube and its wings are made of twin I-beams of aluminum, stamped aluminum wing ribs, and doped fabric. V-struts and jury struts support the wings. Bungee cords suspend the landing gear. The Sparrow's fully enclosed cockpit allows for flight in chilly conditions. The Sparrow was sold as a kit with pre-welded wings and a fuselage. The initial basic engine selected was the 28-horsepower Rotax 277 with the 50-horsepower Rotax 503 as an option. 
Other lightweight engines employed include the 22 horsepower Zenoa G25 and the 20 horsepower 2SI 215. With the Rotex 277, cruise speed is 28 miles per hour, the range is 230 miles, and you can fly as high as 10,000 feet, climbing at 700 feet per minute. Number 2. Sherwood Cub The Sherwood Cub is one of the Part 103 category planes that gives you something close to the experience of heavier, traditional planes. It's made from 4130 chrome Molly aircraft steel tube and high-quality aircraft components and is likely the only fully enclosed cockpit full 3-axis ultralight now on the market that is manufactured in the UK. The Cub checks all the criteria whether you're going for a stroll around the patch or some strip-to-strip -strip travel. Its expansive full-size cockpit provides excellent headroom and visibility. The Cub can be powered by engines up to 50 horsepower, which makes it a sparkling performer that gets in and out of incredibly small strips and sips fuel. Its full-size spacious cockpit has great headroom and outstanding visibility. So, whether you're just having a bimble around the patch or doing some strip-to-strip -strip touring, the Cub just ticks all the boxes. For pilots in the UK, a MicroLite license and insurance are needed. Number 1. Eurofly Mini Fox The Eurofly Mini Fox is an Italian design produced by Eurofly of Galliera Veneta. The aircraft is supplied as a complete ready-to-fly aircraft or as a kit for amateur construction. The cabin is supplied as a single preformed composite structure that nestles snugly over the existing Mini Fox frame. A hatch on the starboard side allows access to the fuel tank and the new composite luggage shelf, which is ideal for the storage of more bulky items such as camping gear. The cabin is completely sealed on all sides with a new backplate behind the pilot and fabric covering underneath. No more worrying about dropping the map. Visibility is excellent. A six-foot-tall pilot will have a lot of spare headroom. There is also generous elbow room on either side, giving a very spacious feel to the cockpit. Takeoff and climb performance are little affected by the extra weight of the cabin. With an electronic start, this 230cc single-cylinder two-stroke engine weighs under 36 pounds and has a 33 horsepower rating at 7400 RPM. It uses a poly V belt to rotate a two-blade composite helix prop. Behind the seat is a single four-gallon gasoline tank for the vehicle. The main gear is constructed from 7075T6 and supports a small fourth wheel underneath the tailplane and three identical plastic wheels with solid tires and drum brakes. If you like our videos, please smash the like and subscribe button. You can also join us by clicking on the link next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.